So material flows from the tank through this line, through this two-way valve, and into the metering cylinders. And these are the two metering cylinders that get the ratio, put the adhesive on the proper ratio. And the same thing is happening in this tank. Material flows in through the rotary valve and then and fills this cylinder. So the ratio here is determined by the diameter of the two cylinders. When the machine goes into the dispense mode, this, cylinder, this switch rotates. Material flows in, is blocked here. Material flows out to the mixed dispenser. These are the metering cylinders. This is the air cylinder which forces the pistons forward. So the pistons fill. The air cylinder is energized and the pistons dispense. And this material is a urethane so we have a vacuum side here and we have a small vacuum generator it's operated by compressed air. That allows you to take the air out of the tank when it's not being used. Pressure on the tank is what forces the material out and into the machine. The desiccant dryer is used to dry the air on the dry side of the cylinders because it's a urethane and the ISO may crystallize. This is the fill dispense switch so by putting that up or down you either fill the cylinders or you dispense out to the dispense head. Part A tank has material in it that may settle so we put an air motor agitator on this tank which is operated with compressed air. You can control the speed with this controller here. Initially bleed the mixer. We use this whip hose to give flexibility to the operator to get in and out of areas on their parts. <laughs> 